Hi, my name is Alex Kerlucci with AugustinShow.com. I want to talk to you about conventional versus FHA. Um, why would you go conventional? Why would you go FHA? So if you have a low credit score, like a 620, 630, 640, you can get a conventional loan done. You're going to have a really high rate. You're going to have really high PMI, especially on the lower down payments. You do 3% down on a 620 credit score and you're not doing home ready, your PMI factor could be 1.6. And on 200000 that could be like a $250, $300 payment in PMI. So FHA would only be like 150. So the PMI factor is much greater with a lower credit score and conventional. FHA is always the same, no matter what the credit score, the PMI factor. But conventional, you price it based on the credit score, the loan to value, um, the loan amount. So there's a whole lot of things that go into the pricing of a conventional. Now people with really, really good credit scores get really low PMI factors on conventional. So if you have a high credit score and you want to do 3% down versus the 3.5% down FHA, I recommend you go conventional because FHA charges 1.75 to the loan, adds it back, and you borrow it. So you get an extra couple point charge when you go FHA. It doesn't come out of your pocket, it gets added to the loan. So conventional is a better route if you have higher credit scores. Now FHA, if you have high credit scores and you want to put a low down payment of 3.5% down versus a 3% down, because you might want to go FHA if your debt to income ratios are too high. So debt to income ratios for conventional only go to 50, and FHA will go to 56.9. So if you need purchasing power, you have high credit score, that's why we go FHA versus conventional. Um, properties that are questionable, they have not really rehab work, but they have something wrong. Maybe loose railing, some buckled sidewalks, some chip paint here or there. Conventional is a little more forgiving. FH is very strict. So if you are going to try to press to the high DTI because that's why you want to go conventional and you have high credit scores, you may not want to go FHA because of the strict appraisal because the house you like has some work and the seller saying nope. We're going to sell it as is. We got 10 other buyers here. It's competitive. So therefore, you might want to go conventional if you can qualify with the 50 DTI. So appraisal issues are a lot more strict with uh, FHA, but the DTI is higher. Uh, down payments are pretty similar, 3 and 3.5% 3 .5 down. The PMI factors, again, higher, higher PMI with the conventional if you have a low credit score. Uh, if you're below 620, you have to go FHA. The conventional won't go below 620. Those are the basics of what I call the, the difference between FHA and conventional. Um, now it used to be conventional you, condominiums was the only way to go because you had to be FHA approved but we just talked in another video today that FHA is now doing spot approvals on condominiums so the condominium no longer has to be FHA approved. That used to be a reason you had to go conventional when you were buying a condo. No longer. Uh, let's see how this works out. We haven't seen it yet but uh, give us a call. We'll answer all your questions. We'll decide if what, we, if what we think you should go conventional or FHA. We'll actually give you the tools to decide. We'll help you decide. So give me a call. 630 915 7550 or go to gustinshow.com. Thank you.